in this video, we're going to focus on how you can create a nice horizontal bar chart here with a nice track at the very back of the bar chart, which is dynamic based on the size that we assign to the bar. So let's start to look how to add a bar track behind the horizontal bar in Chart.js 4. First of all, make sure you have the border template, which you can find here on Chart.js3.com getting started. This link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to support my Patreon page, check out my page here, where you can get the source code of this video and many others. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here first and just convert the entire item into a horizontal bar chart. So we're going to say index axis. I'm going to say here why, and the reason for this is to swap these items. There we are. So once we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to create a plugin here. You can say your plugins, and it's an array, and then we can say your bar or horizontal bar track. Let's copy this. And as we do that, we're going to say your slash slash this plugin block constant that ID will be equal to this, of course, to the same item, the horizontal bar track. And then when would we like to draw this? In this case, we want to draw it behind the data sets. So before we draw the data set, we're going to draw these shapes. So I'm going to say here, before data set draw, I'm going to say here, chart, arcs, and plugin, plugin options. And I guess I will use this one for for this video. So what we're going to do here is first the object destructuring, which is basically this equals that. And if you don't know what an object destructuring is, check out my video in the description box. Understanding charges object destructuring. Very useful to know. So what I need here is probably the CTX, I guess the data. I'm not sure, but we'll see. The chart area, we can get here the uh the top, the bottom, left right width and height and of course we don't need them all probably and we can always remove them afterwards so then we're going to get here the scales i'm going to say x and y so once we did this what i want to do here now is say first of all ctx.save to save all variables above and then we're going to start to draw our item so basically what i want to draw now is a gray area from here to here all the way to the very end what is very important for us, I need to get the width of the bar. So let's start to draw first the shape. So we know exactly what we need. So I'm going to say here CTX at fill rectangle because I'm going, to create a, I'm going to create a simple rectangle here. For this, we need the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, the width and the height. So what we do know is on the X coordinate, this will be very easy because we need to start at the very left side, which is basically, basically the chart area value. So I'm going to say this. Then what I want to do is our width will be from this point all the way to the other side here, the right side here, where we have, of course, the chart area with value. We can put that in there. The height, or let's say here the x of the y coordinate, is basically how many pixels we need to go down. Well, we're going down based on the value of this bar, which is an index in this case. So what we can do here is a built-in functionality. We're going to say y dot get pixel for the value and in this case the value is index so i say index zero this here is a built-in charge as functionality and the y here are is allowed to use because the object destruction that we have here so then we have here the height where we need to calculate the thickness of this so to calculate the height what we need to do here is figuring out how we get this data and what we need to make sure is that the data is dynamic so Let's start to work on this. So first of all, let's put in here 10 and we have like this here. So now we get that and you can see here, it starts at the exact center here. This is correct, but we need to make sure that it will be repositioned to the very top here. So it will match align nicely with the bar. To do this, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to show you a very useful item. This is a built in charges functionality. So we're going to say chart, get, um, no, not get pixel, sorry. Chart get data set meta. And this is a function built in in chart.js. Index zero, so that's what we say here zero, but this is a function, that's why we have here the parentheses. And then we can say here data 
and then we can say index 0 as well which is basically the data point the very first one that's number 18 and the reason why I'm going to get one of those is basically all of them has the same width or height or probably bar thickness would be the right term so let me just refresh this open up the developer tab and you can see here we get the bar element details specifically for uh, right now for this bar but it would not matter they're all consistent and if we search here very carefully you will not find here the width but you will find here the height and the height is basically the thickness of the bar so what I'm going to say here is this dot height you can say here constant bar width or bar thickness that's maybe the better definition equals that all right so now we have this here I'm going to put that in there as our new height and if I do this the thickness is correct but the position is incorrect so what I need to do now is just basically let's put that up here and do some adjustments on this so we have this here what I know is the following basically it moves starts here so I need to push it up 50% of whatever the thickness is so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say on this y value I'm going to deduct the bar thickness but I need to divide this by 2 and we could maybe say here 50% bar thickness that could be basically as well but let's do it like that that's fine and if I do this you can see here it will be nicely aligned so the color should be adjusted as well so what I want to do here is say ctx.fill style put in here the color is RGBA and we can put in any color you want and I'm going to just use one of these very light colors that is suitable with the scale blends nicely in with the scale and all the grid lines so now we have this here we need to apply this to each of these to do this what I'm going to do here is the following I'm going to say here uh, we can do a for each or a for loop because basically it's based on the items here but I think we can say here uh, we, do, we will do the for each loop so data dot data sets index zero dot data and the reason why I can use this data is of course our object destructuring here dot for each and then I'm going to say here uh, data point although we won't be using that so it doesn't really matter we're going to get here the index function arrow expression and then just cut this out move that in there once I did that I want to make sure we're going to change this to a dynamic index value if I save this refresh that works nicely so now we have this here so what I want to do next is change this color here maybe if you want to have a more professional way so we're going to create a nice option here we're going to your plugins and then in this plugins that's which is the plugins object we can put in here now this specific ID here the horizontal bar track so I'm going to put this horizontal bar track in here so once I did that I want to say here for example uh, bar track color so this makes it more user friendly for others and basically this is how plugin works and we could say here whatever the color is so I'm going to cut this out I'm going to put it in here now what I want to do is make sure that this is being read in here because right now if I do this and I save this and refresh we get an error and the reason why it just doesn't work like that so what I want to do now is I'm going to say here plugins that's basically this here this plugin is basically the reference to this object here however we have the ID here and this ID would indicate where the next part of the namespace is which is this one here so this understands it immediately so this plugins is basically plugins dot horizontal bar track that's basically what it does so we don't have to repeat this again in here because we have the ID already specified like that so what I'm going to do here just say dot and then we're going to grab here the bar track color put that in there let's save that refresh and there you are and that looks absolutely phenomenal we could make this even another color just to uh, double check if it works so let's say you're green save there you are although it's quite strong so I don't recommend that of course but this is basically it and this is how you can make it more dynamic let's confirm that it is dynamic put a comma here and then what I'm going to say here is bar percentage 
and the bar percent is 0 0.5 for example meaning that we're changing this now and if i do that as you can see here it gets more narrow and this works as well that aligns it nicely the same is here for category percentage and let's say here 0 0.5 as well where we change it and make it even more narrow than previously and that works as well and that's it